Hi everyone. There are some easy ways to help your kids learn their sounds with ease and really get this specific sound down pat. And that's what this little video is all about. Hope you enjoy it. Hi, it's Bonnie Terry here from Bonnie Terry Learning and Awaken the Scholar Within. And today I just wanted to do a quick little video to help you help your kids if they have auditory processing problems. There's one quick little thing that you can do that will help them with actually hearing this individual sounds better that you're giving them as well as they're able to hear themselves making the sounds. And that's by making a little contraption here. I'm going to show you we have oops, <laughs> just a PVC pipe with a with a uh, joint end you know they're not very expensive you just get them from a hardware store uh, just a little short piece of these PVC pipe and then you stick another end on so what you're doing is kind of making it like a telephone I'm going to switch over to this ear so now if I'm saying the sounds a, a, i, a, a, I can hear them more clearly. R, a, t, rat. I can hear everything a little bit more clearly. And so this is a, just a very inexpensive way of helping your kids hear the different sounds that they're they're making and to be sure that they're giving the pure sounds. Now there's another cool thing you can do with this. And that is to turn one of the ends the other way so that I could be speaking into here. Or rather <laughs> I'm speaking into here and the student can hear it over here. Or to show you exactly what that's going to look like, I'm hearing here and somebody else can be speaking into here. And so I could be making the sounds for my student to be listening to to be sure that they are getting the individual sound or the specific word that I'm saying. And so, you know, there's the two different ways of using this. Now, so there are companies that actually sell this type of contraption, although I don't know if the sold ones are ones that you can be switching around like I did. And they're not terribly expensive, you know, maybe ten dollars or so. But you can actually make this for just, uh, you know, maybe a dollar, uh, you know, two dollars kind of thing. The, uh, you know, these elbow joints are very inexpensive. Uh, it's just PVC pipe, and the elbow joints are very inexpensive at the hardware store. And then it's just another little piece of PVC pipe. And you can actually uh, make that a little bit longer if you want for the times that you are doing it where someone else is speaking into it so that, you know, you can make this piece a little bit longer if you want. Um, it's not necessary to, but it can be a little bit longer if you want. I like it this size because it's kind of like a phone and it fits you know where your mouth is and where your ear is and so that's kind of how you judge how long to make this piece um, you know the center piece is not that terribly long so this will really help your kids when they are um, making their sounds or when you're giving them the spelling lessons where you're giving a sound at a time and it will help them to discriminate which, you know, what the sounds are for when they're writing them down. Um, and they also like to use it just because it's kind of a novelty, it's kind of a fun thing to do. But you'll see when you do it how much it really makes a difference with hearing that specific sound. 
The other thing that's nice when you make it yourself is that you can actually make two of them. Make one for yourself and one for your kids or one for each of your kids. Like I say, they're very inexpensive to make. I keep lifting up the wrong way. <laughs> they're very inexpensive to make. Uh, it's just a couple of elbow joints with a little bit of PVC pipe. So I uh, hope this is helpful to you and have a great rest of your day. Take care. Again, it's Bonnie Terry, and there's more tips on the blog, www.bonnieterry.com forward slash blog. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.